Hello and welcome to another edition of Vinny Tries Snacks and also butchers the names of said snacks from around the world. Today we have snacks from Brazil. And I want to thank Nico and Fran for this stuff. I'm sure they're going to be amazing. But as you all know, we need to take a moment to do the Brazilian national anthem. So let us proceed. Come to Brazil. Come to Brazil. Come to Brazil and we will make you happy. Wow, that was truly something. So I have notes here for the various items and uh, even pronunciations for some of the trickier ones. So it looks like I won't be butchering these as much as I did the French snacks. I guess we'll see. So right off the bat, this catches my eye and uh, they look like Funyuns and they're called Biscoito de Polviljo Colhada. Okay, so it looks like I'll still be butchering names. Um, it doesn't have a pronunciation here, but it says Kavala Cassava Starch Cookies, easy to eat, commonly paired with coffee for an afternoon break snack. So, here they are. It smells like kind of cardboard. Getting a cardboard, earthy kind of shrimpy scent. Speaking of shrimp, this would pair well with the um, New York City drinking fountain water, which have little shrimps in them. It's true. Look it up. Um, no. No, these are not easy to eat. No. No, I don't like these. That's weird. That's real weird. I know it's just like a starchy kind of thing, but something about it tastes stale and actually slightly shrimpy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm also noticing it says here, Fab 040923. I don't really quite know what that means. Um. I don't know if there's an expiration date or if I'm just reading it wrong or whatever, but this is not for me at all. And there's a weird aftertaste and these are not, no. The texture is good. The taste is actually, Leet Maltado. Leet Maltado is next. And it looks like these are Paracu, Paracay, Paracay, Liti Maltado, Malted Milk Cookies. Okay. Much better. Just gets that shrimp taste right out. This looks like what they put sausage in. It doesn't taste like sausage. Those are good. Um, solid. Just basic little biscuits. Um, much better than whatever those other things were. I should note I got these like... Probably a month and a half ago. So I don't know if that's going to affect the quality of the products. But we'll see. Paco Queen, huh? Now, hear me say Paco Queenha and look at Nortz's face and it'll make for an even better moment. This is, um... Sem Gluten, it says at the bottom there. It's pa Paso. Pasoka. That was close. Oh wait, no it's not. So, uh, I, I didn't see an entry on the paper for these Paco Queenhas, so uh, we're just gonna try it and see what happens. Okay. So, um, this is what they look like packed. And, uh, they're individually wrapped little loglets. Kind of look like dog snacks. But...
peanut butter. Yep. They're like peanut butter snacks. Good. Actually, really good. Really good. And they're individually wrapped to create more plastic on this planet, which, as you all know, is what the planet put us on Earth for. Could be the only reason the Earth allowed us to be spawned from it in the first place. It wanted plastic for itself. They're so good, I'm gonna finish this whole loglet. Paco Quinoa. So far, Brazil has definitely delivered in terms of snacks. Well, aside from the first one. And that's why today's sponsor, BrazilClub.com. Next, we have some kind of um, potato chip thing, but it's not a potato chip, it's like a corn chip, and it's Skid Pellets Skid. <laughs> Pele? Sabor Torres No Corn Lamau. Wait, Senor Pelo? No. I might be missing a page, so there's no information on Skid either, but... That mascot is very inviting. It's a kid with a backwards baseball cap, so you know he's cool. I think this is gonna be great. Um, it seems like the ingredients are farinha de frigo and replace a dita on ferro. Let's try it. So, so here's what the skids look like. <clears throat> I think there's an attempted bacon thing happening here. Okay. Okay, so they're like corn chips, but maybe bacon flavored lightly, but they're very, um, they're very airy. There's like mostly air, I think. So I think you could probably eat a lot of these because scientifically, air cannot be bad for you. Surprisingly good. There is a light bacon flavor, like I said, but there's some other stuff going on here too. Might not just be bacon, might be something else completely. All right, next is torcida, which it says here is a spicy wheat snack, various flavors. So we got a number of these. This one's Pimenta Mexicana. So here's a look at it. I'm not the biggest spicy fan. I don't mind a little bit, but these days, my stomach does not like spicy. So, oh, I can smell the spicy. How spicy! All right. Okay, there's a little bit of spice, it's not too bad. Really flavorful. There's like um, a citrusy, salty, sweet thing happening here. It's slightly sweet. And it's just good. And it says PepsiCo on the back. So, can't really see it, but yeah, it says PepsiCo. Actually really good. If my stomach didn't have a problem with spicy, I would eat a whole lot more of those. And I might, just like one every day. Next torcida is churrasco. So it's there's a picture of like meat. Sabor churrasco. <laughs> it's a good friend of mine, Sabor churrasco. This is pretty cool. So this is another um, same kind of thing. It's gone now. Um, same same kind of look. That's interesting. It's smoky. If they're going for like a steak with a steak sauce flavor to it, it actually works. Less spicy, more just kind of like um like a grilled meat flavor. <laughs> I don't know how they did that, but it works. Another torcida. This one is um Sabor cebola. I think it's onion because there's an onion. I don't know, can you see the cebola on there? You can probably see the cebola. 
who was a racer in Star Wars Episode One. Him and Anakin were rivals. As an Onion fan, I have high hopes for this one. Ah. Okay. Good, in its own way. Not particularly oniony. A little more sour cream and onion, but still really good, especially if you get like a couple. I think this one might be my favorite. Also not spicy. Or maybe I'm just used to the spice now, I'm not sure, but also really good. Uh-oh. There's a pepper on this one. Rip. This one is Sabor Camarillo Com Pimenta. I'm so sorry to all the Brazilians watching right now for butchering your language. I don't know how to say these words, but they're nice words. And if I could teleport to Brazil for just a couple minutes and just look around, I would. Here we go. Just notice the shrimp. There's a shrimp. Don't eat seafood, really. Um, not into that kind of sh uh, shrimp stank. So, not for me. But, I know it's not like real shrimp, right? It's fine, I'm not allergic. Um, it's not as spicy as I thought. And it does kind of have that shrimp flavor. I would know a little bit because that's how they smell, I think. So, yeah. It's kind of just there. It's fine. I'm dying! Why did you poison me? Okay, sticking with uh, snacks in a bag, this one is Pipoca Doce. Pipoca Doce. And there's a mascot with a bunch in its mouth, so it has to be good. Pipoca Doce is popcorn but sweet. No shrimp. Absolutely no shrimps, right? Okay, popcorn but sweet. It strikes me that one could just make popcorn, but... You know, if you want to buy... If you want to buy stale... Chewy... But sweet... Popcorn... This exists. It's not bad, but the kernels, um, you know, get stuck in your teeth, and, uh, that's gonna be a problem. They're fine, uh, they're, they're okay. I don't know, it seems like it's a very specific type of thing, whereas I'd rather just make popcorn. However, the sweetness is good. The actual taste is fine. Texturally, pass. Da Colonia Payday Molecule is a mole cue, kind of like a barbecue. So this is a different type of snack. It looks to be... There's cubes. It's chunks. Literally, boy's foot. A sticky coating of sugar over peanuts. What? Why would they call it that? It's, it's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little weird at first, but... It's just, yeah, it's just like sweet peanuts. But it's the... I think it's like a weird brown sugar kind of, um... It's a little flaky, weirdly enough. Um, but it's, it's fine. It's just, yeah, I'm not used to it. And you can even see what's going on here. Bottom. So that might explain it. Some interesting snacks for sure so far. However, our sponsor also has some interesting stuff for you. It's Goodbye Rotten. It's the only meal kit that can do your taxes, wash your asshole, and also, at the same time, listen to your problems. All you have to do is sign up with promo code Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> okay, here's a snack I don't think any of you have ever heard of. Uh, it's Snickers. Except it's also, um, Pay de Molecule. So, uh, Boy's Foot. 
Yeah, sticky coating of sugar over peanuts again, except it's Snickers. Okay. That reminds me a whole lot of a peanut chew, which I like a lot. I'm like weirdly addicted to those when I have them once every four years. So I feel like they kind of combined the legit thing with Snickers. And also it just ended up tasting like a peanut chew. So not bad, actually. Um, I'm going to eat the rest of this at some point. Thanks for the um, 10 extra pounds, chat member. And thank you also for the diabetes. Trento chocolate. Trento chocolate. 38% cacao. Cac uh, cocoa. Okay, reminds me of like a Twix. Uh, so here, let us see which of these loglets is better. The chocolate is good. There's like a hard wafer thing going on in there. Interesting texture. The cocoa is good inside. But is this one better or is this one better? I'm never going to eat dinner. Controversial opinion incoming. They're both the same. Okay, confession time. I've actually tried some of these. This is BIS. B-I-S original. And it says here, chocolate wafers with a just one more appeal to them. And I can tell you, they do have that appeal. Um, I had a couple of these. And they're just, yeah, chocolate wafers. Individually wrapped, bite-sized. Quality product. Quality chocolate. Good crunch to them. Recommend beast. Note, it was here that I had to put the review on pause as I had encountered the dangerous red frog of Brazil. I was rushed to the hospital and recovered shortly thereafter. That's all you gotta do. If you wanna give me a high, feel real good, you just gotta lick me. I'm feeling a slight sugar rush. When I feel a sugar rush, I start to imagine aliens. No one else can see them, but I just imagine aliens. Next is Lacta shot. Lacta shot. <laughs> I hope your mind didn't go to the place my mind went to. Lacta shot. Nutty chocolate milk bar. The um, varying types of chocolate. Like, there's definitely different quality of chocolate in this collection. And, um... Some better than others. So we'll find out where Lacta ranks. It's good. Yeah, that's good chocolate. Just the right amount of sweet. It's a little bit more milk chocolate than dark. I like dark chocolate better these days. Um, as a peanut fan, and like peanut butter and shit, I, I think this is a great collection of stuff because there's so much peanut butter or peanut related stuff going on here. All good by me. Oh boy, more chocolate. <clears throat> Talento. Casted, Casten has do para. There's no note on this, but I don't think I need it. I think this is another, maybe another peanut and chocolate snack. It's got a weird, <clears throat> it's got an interesting packaging. Like it's just, you know, square. Um, yep, yeah, looks like it's peanut and chocolate. Okay. Between these two, this one's better. The yellow one. Slightly. Just a different type of chocolate. This one's a little less sweet. Still solid, though. 
I'm not good at explaining these things. Like, I don't know how to explain differences in food particularly well, so I, I can say sweet or less sweet. But it's good. I'm feeling the sugar rush to my brain, and it's getting dangerous. There's some more chocolates. Like, there's Tortuga, which means turtle. And, uh, yep, there's a turtle mascot right on there. He's turtly enough for the turtle club, probably. So yet, more chocolate. Its leg fell off. There's something inside. I don't really quite know what that is, but, um... It's like milky? Turtle-shaped chocolate, if you're feeling sadistic, a fun way to have these is to bite off the limbs first, then the head, then chomp on the torso. Is that necessary? This poor turtle. With its milky center, its delicious head. Sounds good. Sonho de Valsa, Walt's Dream, a chocolate covered wafer with a cashew nut cream filling. And, uh, yeah, more chocolatey things. This is big. The chocolate's all starting to blend into each other. I, I think I need to stop. However, there's also Oro Branco. Oro Branco. I, I don't even know what this is, but it's... I'm going in. It's like a miniature butt plug. White chocolate. With, um... Maybe like a wafery inside. It says here... Crocante for tempo. It's fucking delicious. But I have to stop with the chocolate. It's too much chocolate. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not good for me. This has to stop. Please stop. Okay, we got a couple more things. We have, um, a Moras. And, um, doesn't say what they are, but I can kind of tell. They're like raspberry fruit snacks. Doesn't Amore mean love? What if I don't love these? Shit. Raspberry, maybe? The outside is a little crunchy. Like, there's little balls on there that are crunchier. Inside is like jelly. Like a harder jelly. Not harder, but like... A... Thicker? Jelly? Actually delicious. But at this point, it's getting hard to tell. Fini. Fini tubes. Fini is a popular brand for all kinds of sugar, confectionery, marshmallows, gummy, sour candy, you name it. Alright, these seem to be um, like straws. They're like little, little things like this, like a Twizzler kind of. So sweet. I like sweet, but I think the older I get, the less I like overly sweet. And this is super sweet. It's so good. My god. Concentrated little sugar ba bastards they are, but you know, they're delicious and um, strawberry flavored. My god, everything should be a straw. I would eat any food if it was just in a straw. Straw form is the best form. And um, we also have finny bananas, and I do tend to like banana things. The final snack from Brazil is finny bananas. And you can tell there's a... hot fucking banana sexy woman. Oh, man. Huh? Look at that. I know. Uh, okay. Here it is, a finny banana. Really, really good. A little less sweet than the sugar straws, but maybe even better. So, yeah, that was fantastic. 
All right, so thanks for joining me for another edition of Vinny Gets a Sugar High and Regrets His Decisions. Uh, thank you, Nico and Fran, for this stuff. I thought it was pretty good. Very good chocolate. Um, everything was very sugary, obviously, and uh, I quite enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, so I, I guess um, thank you again for watching, and um, please stop sending me sugar. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>